Welcome to the CAE Tower Briefing, which is intended to introduce you to some of the more important expectations, procedures, pitfalls, and even some helpful hints when operating flight training operations out of an airport with an operational control tower, such as what we have here at Mesa's Falcon Field Airport in Mesa, Arizona. So without further ado, let's take a look at the conversations already in progress. All right, well, welcome everybody to the Falcon Field Tower Briefing. We have uh, our safety department here, Tyler Zalewski, Kevin Otterstrom, Assistant Chief Pat Fraze, Chief Instructor Kyle Portella, and then we have uh, some people from the tower. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself, Chris? Yeah, my name is Chris Dalton. I'm an air traffic control specialist at Falcon. Um, I've been at Falcon for uh, just over seven years. And uh, we also have Bob. He's our quality assurance in the room, and he's just uh, hanging out in the back. So let's just start by giving an intro uh, to Falcon Field. Just kind of talk about the airport itself and just kind of put the airport in perspective of if I'm a student that is not yet soloed and I've only done a handful of flights in this airspace, just kind of help put into perspective really how complex and how busy it is on a, on a widespread scale. Falcon Field is one of the busiest VFR towers in the country. During the COVID uh, epidemic, we were actually the second busiest airport in the country for commercial and everything. It's a very, very busy training airport. As you know, CAE uh, has a, a numerous aircraft. There's four or five other flight schools that fly out of here. A lot of students, a lot of learning. It's a big learning curve. So we try to be very patient with everybody. But as you know, it can get very, very busy in the pattern. A lot of times we have to shut the pattern down because it gets so busy. It's getting even busier now. Um, lots of ground delays trying to get out. But yeah, it's just an extremely busy VFR tower. The IFR stuff is pretty minimal. So it's almost all VFR here. That's a good point. And before we kind of get started on some of the more local traffic specific things that I want to talk about. One of the things you mentioned was the IFR stuff isn't quite so uh, prevalent here just because it's mostly VFR. One of the interesting things we see on our side with a lot of our crews is when they, because they're not so exposed to IFR, they forget that when they're going to an uncontrolled airport and their IFR, they have to actually close that themselves. I do want to also mention that the IFR rate will pick up uh, with all the new commercial hangars that we're getting on the north side of the airport. So that's going to bring a whole other level of complexity to our airport. It's potentially going to be having IFR aircraft cross from the north over to the south for the longer runway. It's going to start tying up taxiway echo for taxi backs and aircraft and just a lot more aircraft movement on the north ramp to include the Yankee pattern, the Yankee 2 patterns. We're moving in the direction where it's just going to keep getting busier and busier. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because one of the things I was kind of curious about is where, where, what are we looking at, you know, future-wise? Because we have several new flight schools in the area. What, what would you expect uh, the traffic to be, you know, trending towards over the next, or I guess the rest of this year? We are trending to have more aircraft, you know, busier, busier. Everybody's wanting to get flight times. In my opinion, we can expect um, patterns to be uh, reduced, the number of aircraft in the pattern. There's probably going to be maybe some metering on ground getting out to the runoff areas i know it's just super busy out there so i think it's going to be some delays and i think everyone's just going to have to be you know be patient with everybody you know what i mean like so everybody can get their flight time in i know some other airports they might limit the amount of uh, pattern work and aircraft does so let's say a, a guy's been out there in the pattern for 30 45 minutes and then somebody wants to come out in the past we've always said sorry the pattern's full you know i think in the future my trend towards hey this guy's been out there 30 minutes this one's going to be a full stop send somebody out so they can, everybody can get their time in the pattern yeah, everybody needs to take a turn. 